Hello. So I've been getting a lot of questions about an updated video. So I figured I'd do a for now video. So this is how I'm living for now until I can get everything else put away and finished. Um, so this ended up being my couch. I still plan on getting a cushion for it. Right now it's kind of just like the shit shelf. Just throw whatever on there. Um, the litter box I got, the cats are using it and loving it. I really like this one because it's got the walls. It's the breeze system. And then on the bottom, sorry, you're going to see my cats pee. But it's got a pad um, that they just pee on. And then you can rotate it. So, like, that one whole side is getting full of pee. So, I'm going to rotate it. Um, and then you just put it back in there. And I really like it because it keeps things clean. They're ceramic pellets so you don't have litter all over the place. So, if you have cats, that's really nice. We did just clean that out, so it should be good. Um, but yeah, so you empty the pee pads once a week, and then you scoop the litter, obviously, as needed. Um, once I get my Menards rebates, then I'll do the trim. I just wanted to save some money, because I have like over $100 of rebates coming back. So I'll do the trim on the walls, the ceiling, and the windows. Um, I am kind of concerned about this window, because the other night when it stormed, there was a bunch of water in here, and then kind of down in here. So I haven't caulked the windows yet. So I know that that's probably one of the main reasons. But I was also thinking about getting like one of those window covers that go off the edge. Just because it is at such a diagonal slant. I'm wondering if it isn't going to retain some water. Um, so I'll keep my eye out for that. Otherwise, um, the bathroom area that I did have planned, I ended up putting in one of these cube shelves for more storage because I have way more stuff than I thought I did. Um, that's the little toilet I'm using in case of emergencies. Um, everything is command stripped down so they shouldn't move when I drive. And then like this shelf here, I just kind of like tuck everything back and make sure it's good to go. But it didn't move the last time. That is tucks. I've got my garbage, my air purifier, um, all the lights that I have in here are battery operated other than like that salt lamp one. Got some pictures up. That vent I decided not to cover just in case I can find like a heater. If I find a permanent spot to park, I would love to have like a wood stove outside and just heat it that way. But my options are kind of open to kind of whatever is going to work. Um, that I've been using for the foods cat's food, the air, my calendar, some clothing. Um, granted, it's a mess. I still have stuff everywhere. But under here, I've got um, the cube storage, the cat's favorite little cubby, and then I keep like my tools under there. I used to do hair and nails, so I've got like all my hair and nail stuff. That brown box is all my glass Tupperware that I don't, I don't really know what to do with because I obviously don't want glass banging around. Um, but then just like some shelves that I haven't used yet. Obviously, I want to get this hooked up to the battery that's under there. Um, then I can run my fridge off the battery. This I've been using as a step stool. It's got like some nice deep storage in there as well. Oops, sorry. Sorry, did that scare you? I'm sorry. And then um, it works out nice that I bungee cord this strap to the fridge because the fridge is heavy enough that the shelf doesn't move. And I've got some food storage. There's like some dry goods under here. Obviously, um, this stuff needs to go up front to the engine. But then I've got like an electric burner I store there. All my dry goods. Um, some shakes that I take in the morning. My toaster oven. And then some more goods up there. I also bungee this so that it doesn't go flying out. Um, all of this stuff on the pegboard has stayed up throughout driving. So that's really surprising and really good. Um, but I got like all my vitamins and teas and just snacky stuff and silverware, plates, cups. I decided to zip tie this to that and it hasn't fallen. Um, I've just got like a mini fridge. It's disgusting. I need to clean it. So I'm not going to show you that. It's your classic mini fridge. Um, some small pots and pans. And yeah, so I've got these little battery operated lights all over too. Um, I've got some of the bulb ones hanging up top. All my clothes are in back here. And then up top is gonna be an area for the cats. Um, I need to put that tarp out at my mom's place. I'm gonna put some fake flowers and some real stuff in there. So eventually I'm gonna get, well, I'm going to town today. 
and I'm gonna get some command strips to like command strip down my gnomes and the fake flowers and all of that. And then we've got the cat's toys are up there. Um, my dad's stuff, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I've got a little altar set up. And then I got a projector screen, which also doubles as a curtain. So it's been working out really nice um, because I can have it all the way down to block some of the sun. It gets really hot. So I'm thinking about getting something to cover up there too, just because it's really warm up there. Um, but yeah, so that works as a projector screen and as a curtain. It covers up the whole window, which is perfect. Decided to put some Christmas lights because we all love to hang some Christmas lights everywhere. Um, I've got a couple more of those Christmas light packs that I might hang like up there just for design. Um, this was originally going to be a cat walkway, but my projector's up there. Um, I keep my computer up there. The cats can have the one half. Um, but the boards that are up there were originally going to be a cat wall that would go like up and down around here. So now I need to figure out how I'm gonna do it, if I'm gonna do it. Um, but the cats are loving it, so that's good. I was really nervous that it wasn't gonna be enough space for them, but they've been good. Um, Tango's favorite spot is up in the dash. At nighttime, he likes to watch for people and kind of just see what's going on. But yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys an update of for now, and I'll update another one once I get the trim done.